Hey guys, it's Daniel West here with Dell and Artie, and I'm doing a live video tonight with you to play with this stamp set that I just received just a little while ago called Rose Garden. It's from Brutus Monroe. Many of you know I'm on their inspiration team, and it's such a pleasure and joy to be um, on that team with Marie and Lauren and... Waleska and everyone, um, if I skipped your name, forgive me, but uh, just love hanging out with you guys. Um, Heather, I really appreciate the opportunity that you have given me to be part of your team and uh, enjoy hanging out with all of you. Hey, D, nice to see you. Yeah, Jess, absolutely. Now, Ashley, Ashley's part of the team. Ah, uh, just such a great team, and it's really just getting better every week. It's just so much fun. All right, so tonight, playing with this new stamp I have, never before opened by me or played with. Um, I thought it would be perfect for a background, and um, I'm thinking a, a shaker card would be just awesome tonight since we're focused on shaker cards this week as an inspiration team and I figured I could do um, this video with you tonight and you could help me to design it and together we can make an incredible lovely shaker card using that big mama roll of of tape by Brutus Monroe and some of the shaker elements that we received in the autumn kit so I'm pretty happy about doing that. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Kathy. Well, DG, you just stay along with us as, as long as you can stay a week. How about that? Now, this is a fall um, color scheme that I'd like to do tonight because I have these shaker pieces that I want to use, and they're just awesome. They're half pearls. They came in the kit this month. Um, I don't want to use fall leaves because I want to use these roses, this rose garden, but I do want to use the fall colors. So I'm thinking of going with some red and orange uh, roses here for the backdrop. And on the outside or the front panel over the top of the window, I would like to use um, the same um, stamp, but with embossing ink just uh, making a watermark in the front of it. How does that sound, guys? Doesn't that sound fun? So uh, let's get started tonight. I'm going to get out a piece of uh, Nina Classic Crest cardstock, 110 pounds. And we're going to uh, make a bottom panel and we're going to color it in. I feel like doing Copic marker coloring tonight, which is my strength. It's what I love to color with. So um, I'm going to do that. Does that sound fun to you guys? I love Copic markers. I'm not going to emboss, but I am going to use Copic, so that'll be fun. Roses, yeah, come in orange, red, yellow, all the colors of autumn. So we could do those, um, all of those colors, right? How many of you saw my poppy that I made last night on YouTube or on Instagram today? Oh, man. If you didn't see it, I'll, let me pull it out over here. Let's give you a shot at it. I shocked myself with this one. <laughs> I drew it myself with a pen. And um, colored it in with Copic markers last night. Popped it up on some foam tape after fussy cutting out the flower so it looks like it's coming out at us. And I drew a stem in here and I stamped it with Raven ink from Brutus Monroe. I just love this card. Simple for Veterans Day. Now, Berta is the one who told me I needed to do a Veterans Day cart. So uh, she's. She's the boss, so I do whatever she tells me. <laughs> no, I just love Berta to death. She's a great encouragement. Sandra, hi. Thank you for that. Thank you very much. 
Thanks, Kathy. I love playing with Copic markers. Oh, I'm glad you saw it. Thank you, D. Thank you very much. So we're going to try something very fun with these guys tonight. I got the same reds out for those, but I also need to get some orange and yellow Copics out. So let me get those guys out. Orange, yellow. I have those three there that'll work. Those will be my colors tonight. All right, so let's get busy stamping this. I'm going to get my mini Misty out here. I have some other stamps on it right now that I need to clear off. I was playing with another kit that I received in the mail today. So, let's see. Get my foam in here. My card in here. Magnet down. I'm gonna peel this plastic off here. Sandra, you haven't tried Copics yet, eh? Uh, I suggest you start with something like the style file markers from um, Brutus Monroe on their website. Try them out first. And if you like those, try them out. Get you a good set of those. They're great. I have some already. Um, I, have a, I have a great um, collection of markers here in my crafting stash. But uh, the style file are, are amazing. They're fantastic as well as the Copics, and they're not as expensive. So you might want to try. You might want to start out with style files. They're German engineered markers, right? German engineered means they're good. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, guess what I did tonight. Since this is my birthday week, I've been celebrating since last week, birthday month actually, I celebrate all month. I go to all of the restaurants and get their clubs, I get signed up on their clubs and they send me free birthday meals, so I take advantage of that and because I'm a pastor I have so many friends at church and they're all wanting to take me out. Um, <laughs> So um kind of helps out when I can pull out a coupon as well on the night they take me out and save a little bit of money, right? Do you guys use coupons? I always use coupons. All right. So I'm going to get my Raven ink out here. And this is Brutus Monroe Detail Ink, it's called. It's permanent ink. And it's great for Copic markers or alcohol markers and waterproof when dry. So you can uh, dry it with a heat tool and uh, use watercolor as well. So let me get these roses stamped onto my back panel. Now if I had been smart, <laughs> I could have done my other um, watermark panel first, but uh, this is fine. We'll be all right like this. I'll just have to wash it real good. Look how beautiful that stamp is. I just love it. haven't even gotten to color it yet, and I'm, I'm just loving it. Yeah, Sandra, go check out those style files. Hey, Ashley, what's up? D, I also was an extreme couponer for a while and had large stashes of all kinds of stuff, and now I've kind of cut back on it because, um, well, not because I don't coupon anymore, but because um, life has kind of gotten in the way of my couponing, so... I still do uh, couponing, just not as, to the extent I used to. Huh. 
Oh, good, Renee. That's good. Got to you got to save money on other things so you can buy stamps. Right? <laughs> I want a really good impression on this here. Man, I like this stamp. It's beautiful. All right, let's uh, go just a little bit darker right here on this rose. I'll do one impression on all of them. One more time. Just because I want to get those really dark. There you go, that's good. Now, I'm going to clean this right away because this ink, I don't want it to dry on me. So I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to spray it with my Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean Stamp Cleaner. I'll just spray it a couple times. And I'm going to flip it over and rub it on my cleaner. And just wait and see how clean this comes off. I can smell the roses now. Can you smell the rose? <laughs> see how clean that is? I love this tool. This is the Squeaky Clean Jumbo Stamp Scrubber from Brutus Monroe as well. Love it. All right, so now, um, just to get the stamping out of the way, I'm gonna get this other panel going here. Trudy's here. Hello, Trudy. Welcome. Oh, Ashley, you got your st your stamp cleaner coming tomorrow? It's the roses that get you. Oh, they smell so good. All right. Now for this one, let's go right here. Put the magnet in there. All right, no. I'm going to go with the um, embossing ink. I have it right there. This is embossing ink by Brutus Monroe. It's clear watermark ink. So get this ink up here. And I really just want a very light watermark on my top panel for this, for this design. You guys hear that squeaking? That's my desk, actually. Nice, isn't that beautiful? All right, that's gonna dry a little bit. We'll put that aside to the side for now. That magnet to the side, and we're gonna start coloring some of these roses. So I'm gonna start here at the bottom and work my way up to the top. The first one we're gonna do is red. So. Remember these are edges, so let's get these edges colored in. This is prawn, so I'm just going to color in with the prawn, and I'm going to come in with the dark on this, just just on this edge here. And the next color up. This may take a little while, guys. I hope you don't mind spending some time with me tonight. And I'm going to blend it in together. See how the, that all blends together? Just beautifully there. Let's get that right up in there. See that? 
blends all in there. Oh yeah, thanks Trudy. Yeah, I appreciate all the thumbs up, guys. You're awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna come in with the, the prawn again. Just do a nice uh, cover. Then do the darkest. On the edge there. The next one. A little bit further out. And then just go over it again with the prawn. Just to blend them all together. Kind of while they're still wet. We'll just go piece by piece, okay? I think this row, this is one rose right here. Right here. I believe it is. We'll do this here as one rose. And then another rose will start here. And another rose here. Another rose over here. So prawn. I'm not going to make this super, super detailed. Because I don't think it needs to be. It's going to be behind. Some paper. The window's not going to be that big. All right. And the dark. And then the prawn again. Oh, that's strong red. Here's the prawn. It's okay if you make a mistake. It's not going to kill me. I love doing this. It's so relaxing and fun. All right, so let's go with the prawn. We just do it over and over. We'll find uh, an edge here. Get the dark color in first. Bring in the next red. And then we'll do the prawn again. It's the same combination I used for the poppy last night. Did you guys see Ashley's latest video? Fantastic. Okay, D. Hope you catch me tomorrow on the replay. Ooh, yeah, my uh, black foam tape's on its way. I can't wait to get my hands on it. <laughs> it was a guest design post for... Tell them who it was for. Let's do prawn. I gotta remember where I am. All right. Spellbinders. Belinda, I did not draw this one. This is a Brutus Monroe stamp called Rose Garden. Right here. It's a stamp from Brutus Monroe. I would love to be able to draw like this, though. And if I practice enough, I will. That poppy last night surprised me, so. <laughs> Sometimes when you're crafting or learning an art and something goes really well, you're like, yeah, I did it. <laughs> so I was excited about it.
All right, so I'm going to do one more petal here. Get the prawn out. Get the peony out. I've never seen peonies this dark. Maybe I'm just, I need to broaden my experience with peonies. But all the peonies I've seen are much lighter. And then a prawn again to do the blending. See the dimension in that? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> Renee, you should have seen me getting... I brought a stencil out to help me draw the line on the stem. So, yeah, I'm with you. Draw, drawing straight lines isn't my forte. Yeah, Trudy, I hope your puppy's... Your dog's better tomorrow. I hate to hear that he's sick. When my babies get sick, I wonder. It's just the last... Um, last time we're going to get sick, or are they going to keep getting sick today? You know? All right, so let's do, um, I'm going to do this one red and this one orange. And this one red and this one orange. Let's plan it out here real well. So red, red. I want it to be more red than orange, don't I? So red, red, orange, orange and red. All right, we'll do it that way. Let's just keep going this way with the reds. And on it here, we've got a petal coming out this way, it looks like. I did not follow my pattern that I had established just now, did I? But it's okay. It's just one petal. I don't think it'll make a huge difference. color a couple petals in now like this. This is the prawn. I'll come in with a darker one. The next darker one a little bit further in. And then the blending again with the prawn. So then you color with prawn again, the whole petal. Like that. Another petal here. Then do the shading. With the shading, I'm just doing flicks, right? Not harsh lines. So that the blending can be smoother. And then you just do the shading here. Or the blending, sorry. Yes, these are Copics, Renee. Sandy, this is um, Nina Classic Crest. 110 pounds. I do have marker paper, but it's not as thick, and I wanted to use this as the backing for a, a shaker card, so I just chose this tonight. Yes, it can make a huge difference. I don't definitely don't use watercolor or cheap paper with my Copics.
Sandy, what kind of paper do you use to play with alcohol markers? Oh, I know. My laptop, the battery is dying, so I have to keep it connected to the electricity. So I hope it doesn't die on me right now. But it's been going a little buggy. So I have a an appointment with the Apple Genius Bar to get it fixed on Saturday. And luckily I have Apple Care for this, so Oh, you like the Copic blending paper, Sandy? I haven't tried that. I'm trying to remember where I'm at in here. So I was telling you guys what I did tonight, didn't I? I didn't ever tell you. I didn't ever tell you what I did. Um, I went to a meeting with um, the leadership team of our church, and they threw me a birthday party. So my friend, one of the guys um, who was a leader in our church, he works for Capital Grow. If you've never been to Capital Grill, you won't know exactly what I'm talking about, but they have amazing food at a not so amazing price. <laughs> and um, so anyway, so he actually works in the kitchen and he's the butcher for them. And the meat, the ribeyes and some of the steaks that they're accidentally cut and perfectly they're able to um, buy some of that meat from the grill and bring it home. Well, he brought a bunch of steaks home that were not perfect, but they were still amazing. And uh, he grilled them out in the cold outside for me and the team. And we ate like kings tonight with black beans and tortillas, handmade tortillas, guacamole, rice, Hot sauce made from these chiltepe peppers from Guatemala. I start speaking with a Spanish accent when I say things like that. <laughs> chiltepe peppers. <laughs> so we ate like royalty tonight, man. Oh, my goodness. It was so good. And my wife brought a chocolate cake home from Cello's, which is a local restaurant here that um, has award-winning cake. Why is that I always talk about food on my channel and then you guys you guys get mad at me. But I love food. <laughs> Sandy, yeah. I love food. It is my passion too. My goodness, I love it. Bring some of this out here. Dang. Yeah, 110 is probably hard to fussy cut. Yeah. I'm with you on that one. I like to use the index, uh, Nina index. for um, doing a first pass on a design sometimes. 
very thin. It's a lot thinner and not as expensive. These roses are turning out perfect, just like I like them. Wow. What do you guys think? Okay. See this one here needs some color there. Let's get the red here. Down there. Now I'm going to do this one in orange. So I'm going to put the caps on here. Make sure I get the right ones on. I drive myself crazy sometimes by putting the caps on the wrong ones. All right. Let's get some orange going on here. Orange and yellows. This one is actually just brown, it's called, but it looks very orange, so we're going to use it as the shade, the shading in here. You see what I just did? What I did a while ago, reverse the order of my coloring. Now I'm going to take this yellow and I'm going to blend it all together. Just like that. I'm getting a little bit of um, that black ink with my Copics. So I'm going to dry it with my heat gun real quick. I want to set the ink. Thanks, Linda. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Sandra. Hey, Christopher. <laughs> Ooh, I love candles. Oh my goodness. I was cleaning my craft uh, station the other day. I'll tell you more when I get my uh, when I get my heat gun turned off here. Um, <laughs> I was cleaning my craft station the other day and I found a whole box of Macintosh Yankee Candles, the big jars that I bought last year that I had hidden back behind a bunch of things. And let me tell you, my wife was thrilled. And in that box, or next to that box, was another big jar of a Christmas wreath, which I love. And it's all just in time for Christmas. So I'm um, thrilled to have a, a fresh uh, supply of Yankee candles to, to burn for the holidays. I like that very much. Very, very much. All right. Now, when do the leaves start? Are these buds start turning inward and outward? You got to pay attention to that.
Hey, Marie, what's going on? Oh, you're glitter glazing. I've got to get me some of that glitter glaze. Thank you so much. Go film, Ashley. We've got to see your stuff. <laughs> no worries on my end. It's always great to have you hanging out, though. What What's your color palette, Marie? What glitter glaze are you using? Ooh, Ashley. Lucky you. Oh. No, Trudy, don't cry. I hate to hear that. Our pets are so precious to us. I have four cats and I just, they're all so special. Have a good night, Ashley. Nighty night, night. Get to work. We got videos to see. I've missed some of Christopher's lives this week. I've been so um, loaded up with things to do for um, church that um, my evenings have been kind of full in a good way, um, in a very good way. So just in the last month, I guess, We've had like 30 new people come in to be part of our church. And it's been a lot of work getting them connected into small groups and uh, doing follow up with them and visits and then a youth retreat this weekend for the kids in New Hampshire. So lots of fun things enjoyable things things i ask god for and they're coming around i'm glad so i haven't been able to catch live things or video stuff until really late at night but um sometimes i sneak in and just catch a peek of what's going on <laughs> and i read your conversations and i don't say anything because I don't want to, I don't want the videos to be interrupted just by a hello from me and then me taking off. But I do love watching you guys talk and <laughs> of course Christopher, Christopher cracks me up. I just love his passion about the things that he does. I love it, the joy in his voice when he talks about what he does. It's very inspiring. You know, you can really tell when someone enjoys what they're doing. And it's not some kind of just homework or job to somebody, but a passion. And um, I love living with passion. Enjoying what I do.
Um, let me just share the um, address here with you. I don't, it's not a secret. So there's my name. There's my street. There's my town and zip. Send me a card. I would love it if you sent me a card. Now I'm going to extend the day of my video out a few days because some people have told me their cards are in the mail and today was a no mail day from the post office because it's a holiday and rightfully so. So, um, mail isn't getting here as quick as we'd like it this week, but you still have time probably if you live close to this end of the country. I'm on the East Coast. Look at that yellow rose. Oh my goodness. I love it. I want to jump right in there. So I'm going to do a, uh, a yellow rose down here, yellow and orange. I'm kind of haphazardly coloring this because the perspective on this corner for the rose is not easily perceived, but we'll try to make it stand out. It's the corner. Thanks, Tracy. That's awesome. Can't wait. <laughs> No, I don't need to remove it. My, you know what? My address and all of my information is so readily available online because I'm kind of a public person. I'm a pastor here and people can get in touch with me all the time. It's hard for me to be a super private person because of that. So I find them, um, I don't know. If anyone wants to find me, you can just if they wanted to find me bad enough, they can do it with uh, pay ten dollars to white pages and you find out pretty much anything you want to know about somebody. So okay, Trudy, no worries. It's uh, Marie. My theme is just the birthday because it's my birthday week. And um, I'm, I'm doing a shameless ploy for birthday cards for myself. Actually, um, I say that, but really it is about connecting with other people around special days. So, yes, birthday is the theme. And if you want to do a birthday card to me, that's fine. If you want to do one to just... Uh, a birthday theme card you can do that as well just for just for having kicks you know just for kicks but. but I will be waiting around for them for a couple days before I do the video It would be such a privilege to get a card from any of my friends here. So, Right? I started celebrating November 1st, so. <laughs> and my birthday is November 15th. So right smack dab in the middle of the month is my birthday. You know, when I was growing up, 
in Missouri every year. It's deer season this week and school lets out in rural Missouri near Poplar Bluff where I grew up. And um, every year my birthday fell right in there and uh, I didn't have to go to school on my birthday. All right, so I'm just blending that in real well. I'm gonna blend this in a little better here. Those petals, though. Yes, you have to. <laughs> I see. A few extra craft purchases during your birthday month. You know what? I pretty much find a reason to buy what I want anytime, <laughs> anytime I see something I like. I justify it. Every month I'm like, yeah, I got to cut down on purchases. But then... Somehow, God blesses me with some extra cash, and um, I can buy something extra here and there. <laughs> Did you hear me say God blessed me with it? All right. So we're going to do a red one up here as well, and then uh, finish this orange one off here. This is coming along, you guys. Really coming along. Wow, that's awesome. Roberta, this is the Rose Garden stamp from Brutus Monroe. There's the name right there. Can you see that? Rose Garden. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Rose Garden. Thank you very much. Heidi. <laughs> I don't think there are tickets left for that party for me. I can't, I got in late on the stuff. I got here late, y'all. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Oh my goodness, this is so fun. Copic coloring is one of my favorite things. Relaxing, beautiful. You're going to Creativation? I want to go to Creativation too. I don't know, Belinda. I don't know if there is an inside track for me. I haven't been told about any inside track for the birthday party or the Christmas party. Someone was asking me yesterday if I do classes around Pittsburgh. <laughs> and I thought, wow, has this person never been to Brutus Monroe? I said, I live in Providence and I don't make it out to Pittsburgh very much. But um, there's an awesome place there for you to get classes if you need classes.
if you want classes or you want to hang out with people to do crafts together and learn some stuff in community, there's a great place at Bruce Monroe. Go for it. She said she's going to make her way over there. Oh, good. I'm glad Blaze is feeling better. That's good. Great news, eh, Trudy? That's good. All right, now these petals are starting to come up this way. So we're going to do this, this, this. This one is still coming out this way. And this one is this way. And this one is flipped over. These are Copic Chows, yes. Um, some of mine are sketch markers, Copic Sketch, and some are Copic Chows. They're the same thing, same exact thing, just different sizes, different shapes. But the brush on the end is the same. A little tiny bit of shading right in there. There we go. Man, I'm so pleased with this. All right. Now let's see the perspective on these. These are coming out this way, it looks like. So let's do those that way. Just, uh... I've never heard of that, Roberta. Ooh, Lorraine, that sounds fun. A Copic coloring trip in your home. Oh, nice, Heidi. I'm reading comments now, guys. Yeah, creativation sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> You've been glazing like crazy over there, Marie. I hope this um, video inspires you to use some alcohol markers, whatever you have. You know, if you don't have any, um, maybe you should start out with style file markers. Like, you can pick these up. They're really cost effective. And they're beautiful markers. They work just fine. Get those at Brutus Monroe. Um, another marker that I use is Prism of Color markers. And uh, I got those pretty inexpensive. Lee. At Michael's using a price comparison with Amazon. So. Uh, I said I was going to do this one um, red, didn't I? But now I'm doing this in orange and yellow, so I guess it's just going to have to be like that. I don't think I can stop doing it now. It'll look odd. Uh, maybe there's just a rose right there in between. I want to do that top corner in red. It may not even matter if I have to cut it out, but we'll see. Get these out here. This is a peony, uh, deep red, I think. Strong red, it's called in prawn. I'll just put the lids out here for you guys to see them. And 
this is the chow, so you can't really see, you can't see anything on the lid. But. Don't tell anyone that this uh, flower is going to have two different color sets, okay? Don't tell anyone. If you don't say anything, I won't say anything to anyone. I got real quiet here for a second, didn't I, guys? Thanks, Murray. Sorry I got real quiet. I get lost in my thoughts. I was thinking about a song I heard at the concert the other night. Ryan Stevenson, I think, was uh, singing with uh, um, Toby Mac. He sang a song about... Um, no matter, it's called No Matter What. You guys can look it up on you on YouTube or on Google Play and, f and figure out what that is. But, uh, oh, that song. If you haven't heard it, go listen to it when we're done here. Very, very, very encouraging. Makes me want to break out in song right now. I get to thinking about the goodness... And the love of God. And I am just in awe. It's like standing at the Grand Canyon. Looking out and just being in awe of how amazing it is. That's how I feel about the love of God. He loves you. He is not against you. He does not despise you or hate you. He loves you. So, if you have um, the opportunity to listen to that song, go for it. I, I recommend it. Let's blend these in down here a little better. Okay, I'm done coloring the background, and I am super psyched with this. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I can get back to comments over here. Yes, a lot of bad things have happened recently, eh? You got to see that, uh, Roberta? I saw my wife. She was so cute dancing there. Now, it was so tight in there. I just sat down and was filming her. I was enjoying watching her more than I was the concert. But 
Yeah, it was great. She's such a sweet lady, and I just absolutely love watching her enjoy that concert. Marie, are, are the fires that close to you? Oh my goodness. You're not in danger, are you? Sorry, I just yawned. You're not in danger, are you? Merci beaucoup, Lorraine. C'est très magnifique, non? J'ai besoin de pratiquer ma, ma, mon français avec toi. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to come back to my uh, watermark. And look at my watermark. I think my watermark needs some help because um, apparently my stamp wasn't as clean as I thought it was. Or I hadn't dried it before I um, actually stamped with it. So let's get it back out here. I'm going to flip this card stock over, and we're going to try this again. But this time, I'm going to make sure that there is no residual ink left, or residual black left on here. So let me just um, run this over again here. And if we see black come off there, and will know that there was it's not clean enough I think it's clean enough that's very good news Marie that you're not in danger there I'm sure the smoke is horrible yeah Trudy I didn't mind it, but it wasn't the exact look I was going for. It's not exactly what I wanted. So, what I do want. I'm alive again, guys. Let's get this back here. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry for the, the trouble there for a second. I'm back, I'm back. Don't leave, guys. <laughs> Don't leave me. All right. I have separation anxiety. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can get this nice and centered here. I'm gonna ink this up again. See, that magnet is right in the way there. That's still a little bit gray, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to get my big mama roll of tape out of here. Ain't nobody got tape like Brutus Monroe, I'll tell you that. You can get some cheaper tape, I guess, somewhere, but it's not going to be as thick and juicy and beautiful as this big old mama roll of Brutus tape, foam tape. It's one eighth inch thick and a half inch wide, 36 yards. Last I checked, it was on sale for $24.99. Okay, so now I need to make a window. So I need to get a, a, a rectangle die out and uh, make a window for this. So give me just a moment and I will pull one of those out of my hat. I think I have a really good one here from Lawn Fawn. Yep, stitch rectangle dies. Uh, 
I have this in a pouch and I'm trying to open it up. <laughs> Anyone ever tell you I'm a brilliant person? All right. Let me get this big one out here because I really want to do. Now, if I do that, we're not going to get any of that. <laughs> any of that uh, design, are we? We'll just get it at the top and bottom. So, uh, basically, what I'll do then is I'll start over with another panel and I'll use that for something else. Cut this down here. See what um, part of my fun is crafting by the seat of my pants. I can switch something up real quick and you guys get to see the fun of the process. All right, so I'm just gonna take this like this and I'm going to run that through my cuddle bug. If you don't know what a cuddle bug is, it's a die cutting machine. And I just uh, put this on top of this plate here, like this, and I run it through between these hard plastic plates like this like that and Renee, what are you doing? Hey, Christopher, is Christopher back? I was, um, I saw him on just a minute ago and I, and I missed him. Christopher, are you there? I can't wait to meet Christopher in person. Look at this. Doesn't that look fun? Oh my. Yes, it does. Now, just for the sides of this, I may want to, I'm, I may, I am going to just a color in this over here. Okay. Just to make sure that I get uh, even coverage over there. No white is showing. You guys see what I'm doing? There we go. Ah, oh, isn't that just beautiful? Oh my goodness, I'm happy with this. There you are, Christopher. <laughs> hey, man. Okay. <laughs> that sounds like my family. Kids need something right away. Wife needs something right away. Get out the cricket, get out the cuddle bug, get out the paper. Okay. So I'm doing a shaker card, and in order to do that, I'm getting out my big old mama roll of, because I don't have any of the pockets, right? I'm going to get this mama roll of tape out. Let's see how wide these are right here. Are they perfect? They are perfect. So let's just pull off some of this tape. Right here, start at the top, come down there.
Now, I know you can tear this, but uh, I want a nice clean line here, so I'm going to use these nonstick scissors. Now let's go on this side. I'll turn this around here. You know what I did, don't you all? I forgot the acetate. I forgot the acetate and now I ripped my frame. So, it's a tragic mistake, but mistakes were made. So I'm gonna grab my other piece of <laughs> Card spot. We're gonna start this one over again. I'm supposed to glue down my acetate panel. Did y'all tell me before while I was doing that, and I didn't pay attention? I think we can put some bell money together for Christopher if we need to, can't we? Do you have a... <laughs> Marie can't justify a fourth die cutting machine. Oh my gosh. Ah, forget to add the acetate. Okay. So, um, see that acetate right there? Let's get my cuddle bug out again. Get my piece, my window piece here. I'm going to tape it down this time just because I want that added piece of security. Y'all can't see what I'm doing here with this tape, but I just put it right there on my forehead, my big old ball head, just to get some of the tackiness off of it. That's one of the advantages of being bald. Crafting. That you never thought of that one. <laughs> Rich with crafting supplies. We're in business again. I have a royal mess on my desk right now after this. Okay. Gotta remember what I'm doing here. So I got this acetate panel. I'm gonna get my all-purpose glue from Brutus Monroe out. Here's my bottle. I'm just going to run a thin line around the edge of this. Like this. Very thin line. <laughs> Roberta, your husband's a danger to your your um, crafting budget, eh? <laughs> your husband sounds like fun. Is he there with you now? Now I've got my acetate down, y'all. There we go. All right, now I just need to trim this end off. Don't forget your acetate. Don't forget your acetate. All 
Now nah, that's going to be beautiful. Now I'm going to pop that up on some foam tape. I love that I don't have to do this twice with this thick tape. I don't have to do two layers. I am so thankful. <laughs> this stuff is really strong, sticky, strong. Good. All right. And even off that cut there. Now, this roll of tape makes me want a pepperoni pizza. But I already ate tonight, so we ain't going to do that. <laughs> Lord Jesus knows I don't need another meal today. There are days when I hardly eat a meal at all, and there are days when I eat three, and today was one of those days. All right, so let's get this um, these half pearls in here. This is going to be the bling inside the shaker card for today. It came in the autumn or the last month's inspiration box. Fantastic. Now I just want to get these flipped around here so they're not... I want them going the same direction. <laughs> but they're fighting me. All right. Anyone have a better way of doing this? Now, y'all, I am so sorry that I get involved in my craft and I forget to talk to you guys. Okay. I'm all caught up with reading. <laughs> Now, should I spend the time turning these over, or are they just going to flip anyway? What do you guys say? You think they're just going to flip anyway inside the... Inside the shaker card? If they do, it's fine. Not optimal, but fine. Now, I'm just building for you guys tonight the shaker portion of this, and I'm going to put one more element on the window, and it's going to be a surprise. You'll have to wait to see it on the blog on Wednesday. So to see the actual finished card, you got to go to the blog. I will have a picture up on Instagram for a portion of it, but you're going to have to go to the blog to see all of it. I need to drive your traffic out there, guys. I want you guys to see my blog. I have a my own website, my own um, my own. Um, I can't even think straight. What is the what is that? My own URL, dellandari.com. 
it used to be at like a blog spot or something, but now it's my own. Because if you're going to go out, you might as well go all out, right? All right. I think I've got them all flipped over. That was fun. All right. Okay, Trudy. I hope your doggy gets better, sweetheart. I have to peel this off. There must there are two layers to this backing on here. You got to get the right layer. I think I'm gonna get a craft knife out. Let's try my scissors first. There we go. I must not be doing something right trying to get this off here. I even have fingernails. I have good fingernails. Not super long, but they're good. A sewing pen to lift it off. A pokey tool. Okay, I've got pokey tools. I do have pokey tools from my Cricut. I have this weeding tool here. There we go. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. There we go. Nice. That's what I needed. <laughs> now I'm just doing the shaker portion of this for you guys tonight. And the rest of it, you got to wait, right? So once I put this on here, we're going to shake, shake, shake this card up. Have some fun shaking it. And then I am off to relax and unwind and watch a TV show a little bit before I go to bed. Look at that. And it's they're not flipping over, so it's perfect. I hope you guys had fun playing with me tonight here on YouTube. And uh, I hope you'll get to catch the finished product on Wednesday at DelanArty.com and on Instagram at DelanArty. Um, I hope you have a wonderful night. I hope your dreams are full of wonderful things, lovely things. You wake up encouraged and refreshed and blessed to walk through the day tomorrow with a smile on your face. I pray God shines his light on you and lets his face shine on you and you see things in a, in a new way tomorrow. Be creative because you were made in his image. And like Christopher says, go create your own image. Uh, not your own image, go create your own ending, right? 
Have a super night, guys. Merci beaucoup, Lorraine. Muchas gracias a todos los que me acompañaron esta noche. Thank you, Mrs. Whitlock. I appreciate that encouragement. Um, it's really fun to play here on YouTube with you and to be accompanied by you guys. Accompanied by you. Good night, Christopher. Good night, Marie Nicole. Love you all.